Hello, hello, welcome back. Happy Wednesday, <laughs> September 14th. Uh, starting out today with a free troll and really just going up to it. <laughs> I had to, for these, you know, as always, I don't have any plan to it. I just kind of draw whatever comes to mind or like allow the piece to flow wherever it flows. I'm using pastels on wet paper and then going in with watercolor and kind of playing with that and also layering back in some pastels and I've, I've noticed like they're so much brighter the pastels are so much brighter uh, as well as the watercolor and not only that the I don't have to spray the paper afterwards so that's really nice because the for some reason the powder kind of sets in with the water once it's in so yeah Oh, it's so cool and I I just love the drips and the flows of everything it's yeah at this point I'm just I'm, I'm having fun I added in some black for some contrast and yeah oh so good so I decided to do like a like a long video of it drying but it, it didn't really capture much of it just to see all the little details going in into the piece so then I went ahead and cleaned up a little bit and started on the portrait for ready a child and oh wow this piece is just I mean I guess I feel like I've seen this <laughs> about every piece but it it honestly means so much to me and I, I don't even know the meaning of it yet but already has such a strong uh, significance to I guess where I'm at in life right now and just yeah <laughs> I, I don't know what to add to it but yeah just really where I'm at and and like at this point it's like very much creating in a subconscious state so I'm creating and then jumping back and be like oh my oh that's what it means that's that's what's happening in this piece but right here I just did the um the outline of the first portrait which is going to be the background portrait and right here I'm making the smaller portraits that are going to be in the foreground and trying to see you know how they're going to look and the width of each line and I my plan was to cut it out but I was using the wrong paper and it was super thin so it wasn't working out so I went ahead and transferred it on some thicker paper and it was it was working out it, it, it worked much better uh right here I was just using copy paper and I transferred it onto um watercolor paper because it was not printing in my printer I guess the the paper is too heavy too thick so the regular printers don't take it so I just did like a transfer just like this with the window <laughs> but yeah after that I went in and make the lines just a little bit thicker on I think I did like five sheets of paper just that way I have like five different stencils that I can work with because I don't know if I'm gonna paste the portraits on top or actually use it as a stencil and like spray paint or paint within I'm still figuring that out but yeah I cut out the stencil I, I only did one because that took like an hour and a half and my hand was dying so I went <laughs> I took a break and went back on the portrait and started painting and yeah all of this is very much free painting but also being very aware on what parts that I like in the piece and what parts that I'm okay taking out especially and hiding the portrait and how can I hide it best where it's hidden but it also jumps out I also added more words in here more symbolism I added the eye my signature um, I, the title of the show which is I am and just kind of working all of that in and as I'm doing this I'm, I'm um, picking up the stencil and seeing just how it would work in the piece as I add more textures more paint more 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 <laughs> yeah but yeah I, I had so much fun creating this section of the piece because I was honestly adding paint scraping it off adding more scraping off using pastels you know really 
getting into the details, but also jumping back out and seeing and working big. So if it meant like scraping just the glob of paint across something, I was, you know, I feel like I could do that without having to worry about if I'm messing up the piece or not. But you know, we're back with these drips, these drips, drips, drips. I'm loving it. Yeah, I'm working on like a, a little bit of detail on the words and making them kind of making sure they pop out but also hiding them at the same time <laughs> so I'll, I'll make him pop out and then I'll, I'll like uh, what's the word I guess scoot them back and then make them pop out more just adding like more layers and textures onto it and also this like um I'm using my palette knife and just carving into and it's creating like this white outline and on the portrait as well so yeah oh and it's so crazy how quickly it kind of came together and not only that just how well um the background colors really matched the original portrait's face i wasn't um it wasn't a big deal to stay to the colors of the original portrait but i'm just glad that like it kind of works in that those warm tones and also cool tones coming in and then i went in with the gyps of the white and i don't know it took like so many layers to just get the white to show 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 but it's coming up so that's cool but yeah i just did added more layers of the white taking pictures of it just to document the stages yeah, that's really it. Cleaned up a little bit and I was done. Thank you guys so much for watching. Much love, newbies. Mwah.